Hi, my name is Matthew Hayashi and I'm presenting on my project, an app called Wine Selector. Here's what motivated me to focus my project on wine. The problem scenario is this. I constantly find myself looking blankly at an overwhelming selection of wine bottles at the grocery store. Often I want to be told which bottle to get as I'm open to trying new wines and just need to be told the name of a bottle. My solution to this problem is an app that randomly selects wine attributes, such as a region or varietal, and then suggests a bottle to try. My approach blended elements of both Scrum and Kanban. Here are some of the main tools I used. I utilized the Kanban board to track my progress and to get a sense of what features I was working on and when they would be rolled out. I was also able to identify features that slowed progress and created bottlenecks. I used the burndown chart to track overall completion. I was able to thus calculate my work velocity. I noticed my velocity slowing in later sprints when I faced more challenging features I was trying to implement. I also used user stories to identify the features I would try to implement in my app. The stories allowed the flexibility for my test group, who are my family and friends, to suggest new components they wanted to see in the app and what features would add more value to them. I was able to complete about five sprints. Sprint one and two, I focused on getting into rhythm and focusing on working out any inaccuracies in my estimates. I wanted to produce a minimum viable app that I could present to my test group to get initial feedback early. Sprint three is when I implemented features typically seen in, seen in an app that my user groups said would add a lot of value as app users. Sprint four and five, I faced challenging feature implementation. I reassessed the prior, prioritization of user stories and reestimated how long they would take. As the features became more difficult, I found my progress slowing in terms of how quickly I was rolling out new features. Rather, I set up the app well to roll these features out later. At this point, I better understood what was accomplishable in a sprint as an individual developer and what items my user group valued. Now I'll give a brief demo of my app. From my home screen, you can see my app Wine Selector. Once you open it, you're easily led through the different pages of the app. Let's begin. The first wine characteristic that will be randomly selected for us is the wine region. You are presented a wine region. A similar process occur occurs for the wine varietal. Lastly, once you are randomly presented a region and varietal, the app will recap your selections and suggest a bottle of wine seen at the bottom of the page. I implemented the start over button on this page, which can also be seen throughout the app, allowing the user to restart at any point. This feature was suggested by my user group as something that provided a lot of value to them. Similar, similarly, on the left, you can see a navigation menu that my users said would make the app feel more like an app. Let me click through the pages. First, the about us. Next, the how to use, resources, and contact information. And that is my app. Finally, let me touch on the principles that I focused on that I believe I was able I will be able to translate to projects in the future. First, eliminate waste. I only focused on things that provided value during this project. I did not overdevelop features that are not useful, such as providing capabilities for older versions of iOS, since my user group does not need that. Second, I amplified my learning. I was essentially learning the Swift programming language during this project. As such, I was able to learn new Swift development techniques, see their immediate implementation, and still make constant progress. Third, I defer commitment. This project format allowed me to not commit to major decisions all at the beginning. In other academic projects, all the requirements are given at the beginning and the major components were decided on at that time. In this project, I was able to add flexibility in how features were implemented and also what features I wanted to implement. Lastly, for continual improvement, this project allowed me to make small but constant improvements. Still, I am allowed the opportunity to make more updates and continue my progress on the project. Thanks for listening.